So you want to know how much it costs to start Amazon FBA? Well, make sure you watch this entire video because I'm sharing with you all the expenses on a chronological order of starting an Amazon business. The first cost to take into consideration is the Amazon seller fee. This is a monthly fee of $39.99 that Amazon charges anybody who sells on Amazon. Now there is an option of the individual plan, which lets you get charged, I believe almost a dollar per item sold. But as long as you're selling more than 41 units per month, which is often the case, it just makes a lot more sense to go with the professional plan, which is $39.99 per month. The next part of your Amazon FBA cost is paying for a product research tool such as Helium 10, Jungle Scout, or Zoof, which usually ranges from $40 to $100 per month. This is a must because you'll definitely need these tools to pull up data about the products to really find a product that's profitable for you to sell. All these tools usually have free trials, so you can definitely download them to check them out. If you'd like me to do a video to talk more about using these tools to find a winning product, definitely like this video to let me know. The next part of your startup cost is the sample fees from suppliers. In my last video about the step-by-step -step process of starting Amazon FBA, I mentioned that it's really important that you order samples from suppliers to see the quality of the products. If you haven't watched this video, I highly recommend that you watch this video first and come back to this one. Each sample usually costs about $80 to $150. Um, how it usually works is you pay the supplier to make a sample of the product that you're going to order um, and they will ship it to where you are located. Then you can really examine the quality of the product in person and to see if there's any adjustment that you would like to make for the final inventory order. Usually it's recommended that you order three to five samples so that will cost about $300 to $500 in total. After you decide on a good supplier, the next cost will be paying for your inventory. Depending on your order quantity and product unit cost, it's going to cost you from 2K to 7K USD. Now, if you don't want to spend too much, you can definitely adapt your order to your current budget. For example, you could put down 500 units first. If your product unit cost is about $4 each, then it's going to cost you around $2,000. I wouldn't recommend going lower than 500 units because it usually takes around two to three months for the products to be manufactured and shipped to the Amazon warehouse. Let's say if you sell about 250 units per month, you're really going to run out of stock very quickly, which is going to really hurt your listing. Um, so that's why I don't recommend going lower than 500 units. By the way, if you're enjoying my tips and want more videos like this, please hit the like button so I know. After your products are manufactured, it's time for you to hire an inspection team to check in person to make sure the products are up to standard. Um, this usually costs about $150 to $300 per inspection. Here I want to add in a quick story about my first inspection uh, experience. So we actually had some issues with the products during our first inspection and I had to work with the supplier to improve the issues and order a second inspection. This is not mandatory because I could just ask the supplier to send some pictures after they improve the products. Um, but since that was the first time for me to work with the supplier, I just wanted to be extra careful. So you do have to keep in mind that even though it costs around 150 to 300 per inspection, but there could be chances that you might need to pay for several inspections. Now that your products are good to go, the next part of the cost is the shipment to the Amazon warehouse. You're usually going to work with a free forwarder to ship your products and this usually costs around $800 all the way to $2,000, depending on your order quantity. There's usually two routes of shipping. The first is you ship the products directly from the supplier all the way to the Amazon warehouse. The second is you ship the products from the supplier to a 3PL company warehouse in the US first, which stands for third party logistic companies. And then you have the Amazon partner shipping company to come pick the products up 
from the 3PL company. As you can imagine, the first route is significantly cheaper than the second route, as usually what 3PL companies do is that they would make sure your products, all the packaging are um, good when they arrive um, from overseas to the US warehouse. And then um, obviously it's less risky when the Amazon um, shipping company come and pick the products themselves as there could be some um, uncertainty involved when you ship the products directly to the Amazon warehouse. So it's really just um, a personal choice depending on how much risk you want to take on. Now that you have your products ready at the Amazon warehouse, the next cost is branding and legal fees. This usually costs around $150 to $500. This includes the fees of your UPC code, uh, listing images, logo, or any other branding that you choose to do. For anybody who doesn't know, UPC is essentially a unique code that's a attached to any commercial product, kind of like the code that the cashier um, scans at the grocery store. Besides the UPC, most of the branding fees is actually optional. If you're good at photography and design, you can totally do it all by yourself. Personally for me, I chose to outsource it to a professional to do um, all the listing images, our logo, and all the branding things because I just wanted to save time and energy and rest assured that someone else professional is doing the job for me. Now, if we add everything up, it's going to cost around $3,500 to $8,000 to start Amazon FBA. So it's safe to conclude that you will need to invest at least $3,000 upfront if you want to start Amazon FBA. Now, I know it sounds a little intimidating. Um, it might sound like a lot right now, but considering the profit margin for Amazon FBA, which is usually around 25% to 40%, and how it will usually require um, $10,000 to start any regular business, I would say Amazon FBA is still an amazing opportunity. Now this concludes today's video. If you enjoyed the tips I shared today and would like to see more videos from me, please give me a thumbs up. And don't forget there is a free guide from me um, about the step-by-step -step process to start Amazon FBA. Um, be sure to click the link down below to snag your free guide. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.